more people live with food as an issue than those without. That statistic is almost unimaginable for many of us. But it became clear to me during a recent trip to Kibera, one of the world's largest slums in Nairobi, Kenya. Personally, I needed to sharpen my focus to better understand the role food plays in lives. It is much more than just statistics. I needed to go and stay within extreme hunger conditions to further relate to the vision we chase every day. I needed to look into a hungry face to be reminded of the people, the stories, the individual stories behind the statistics. Sometimes an emotional wrecking is needed to sharpen a vision and deepen your purpose as a leader. During my four days in Kibera, I spent time with many leaders. One of them that had a big impact on me was Fred. What I saw was indescribable in my first few days. And while standing on a rise, looking out on the rows and rows of tin roof shacks that housed thousands, I was struck by the unspeakable nature of the scene. And just then, Fred opened my eyes to one of my first reflections from this trip. He emphasized how common that picture is. He emphasized that that right there is one dollar a day living. And about 25% of the world live on just a dollar a day. Increase that to a two dollar a day and the statistic jumps to 43% of our world. 43% of our world lives on two dollars or less a day. Then you add that more than 20% of Americans and European families are struggling to put food on the table. Suddenly I realized those living without food as an issue are in the minority. Think about that. More people live with food as an issue than those that don't. And during those four days I also realized that food is the core. It is the very soul of this world. Food is the foundation from which everything is built. And without the foundation, the beginning of how everything is actually lost. We've all seen images of the effects hunger has on the body. But what overwhelmed me was the damage and the impact hunger has emotionally. I learned this from my friend Wilson, that I went and spent time with him and his family in his home. And Wilson, through his life and his stories, explained to me the ripple effect of hunger and what it does through a life. Families, communities, even nations ripped apart when the breakdown of food happens. See, food does much more than just meet physical needs. The damage truly occurs when it moves beyond a physical breakdown to an emotional one. And the emotional one is much greater than the physical one. It starts with a loss of hope for a better future and it is compounded by the inability to provide for your children. Dignity, a big word, but dignity is torn away by looking in the eyes of your malnourished child. Can you just imagine? I saw Wilson do this with his daughter, Harriet. And the mental breakdown follows, and without food, you can't think straight. You can't think about solutions, which leads to a breakdown of systems. Finally, when parents can no longer handle seeing their kids starving, it leads to a potential life breakdown. Wilson was left caring for his young children after his wife left. The statistics can be overwhelming. Feeding billions of hungry people seems impossible, but it all starts with a single life. It starts with exposure, which sharpens our vision for the solution. This leads to another reflection that I had and that was seeing the faces and hearing the stories. Man, the stories were so impactful. And they help us see beyond the statistics to the individual lives. We say we enrich lives with the purpose of agriculture and being involved in food. But sometimes it takes a face, a single life to bring more purpose to lives. The faces, the stories, listen to me, I won't be the same again. In the midst of the worst conditions I've been in during my entire life, I experienced more hope. I heard more dreams. I felt more love. I met with more cause-centered leaders and witnessed deeper faith than any time in my life. 
We all can learn from these amazing people in Kenya and around the world that live in these conditions. I have a deep respect and I look up to the Kenyans I was with. I will draw from them a deeper determination to overcome our challenges. Listen, very important, hunger is solvable. These day-to-day -day food issues are solvable. There is a positive ending to this story. We are making great progress. Finding solutions requires leaders that have made this their cause. And this leads to my final reflection from Kenya. Please listen because it's an important one for all of us. The solution lies heavily with those of us in the minority, those of us that don't live with hunger as a day-to-day -day problem. It has to start with you and me, with people that have enough to eat each day. We have a big responsibility. The work we do in the food industry and for this company moves us closer to a solution each day, and we can't give up. Making safe, affordable, abundant food a reality is the greatest challenge of our century. It is solvable. We're making progress. That's why the work you do every day is so, so important. And I end with saying we all know that inside all of us is a desire to be part of something bigger than ourselves. This industry, this company's vision, and your family are part of something bigger, enriching lives through food.